A man named Morten Storm from Denmark converted to Islam in the 1990s. According to the news, he later on radicalized and became a friend of Anwar al-Awlaki. In 2006, he switched side and started working with the CIA and helped them to locate Awlaki so they could kill him. Storm is reported to have tried to get Danish Muslims to use violence and fall under the secret services definition of radical Muslims. Even Awlaki, who must be who must have been extremely careful about whom he trusted, could not rec recognize Storm as a CIA agent. How can we know that brothers calling for the same extreme views in jihad are not CIA agents bought by the kuffar who is trying to make Islam seem like a threat to the West so the society will hate Islam and accept the wars against Muslims, Muslim lands or just so that the secret services will get more money from the state because of the alleged threat of radical Muslims? Okay. This is a very good question, and this, uh, this question, in fact, summarizes an article that I have written about this particular incident. And uh, <laughs> I am confident that I'm not the one who put the question, otherwise I will think that I am the one who wrote it. Because this is exactly what I wrote in that article. And uh, I have been in touch with the brothers in Denmark after that incident, and I told them those views okay that have been mentioned in this question and this is a serious matter and it has been proven that those who advocate uh, those extreme ideas about jihad many of them either infiltrated or they are agents for uh, some western intelligence services this is have been proven yeah in in britain there was an incident where a person instigated others to carry out some illegal uh, activities and uh, after they have done these illegal activities he disappeared where no one knows he just disappeared and uh, we have witnessed in i'tikaf yeah that there are some brothers who come and just meet everyone in the i'tikaf and they discuss matters related to jihad with every single one. Where did these uh, brothers come from? No one knows. They came from nowhere. And then all of a sudden, they disappeared. Yes, and so on. There are many examples like this. In uh, the, the uh, bombing of Oklahoma, yeah, as you know, uh, the one who instigated that was an agent so we have to be really very very careful and that's why that's why the person he should first of all understand the concept of jihad correctly and he should understand that those people who are advocating this whether they are agents or not they are not advocating something which is correct uh, moreover moreover those people if they are advocating something related to violence and so on, there is a strong possibility that they are agents and they want to put you in troubles. Yeah.